Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Olivia here. So it has been a really long time since uh, my last video on my channel and if you're wondering where I have been I still really active on Instagram and for my color along tutorial video uh, I have been consistently posting and growing my patron uh, for the last couple of years so I been put uh, posting a lot of in-depth videos a uh, real-time color along videos on there with a lot of technique and uh, I use mixed mediums so if you uh, look at the page today and you like any of the pages that I show I'm guaranteed that you can probably find the page on my uh, patreon so check it out if you wanted to join now with that said um, for coming back to YouTube I thought I wanted to show you some of my coloring pages that I have done in the last few years um, I don't remember what was the when was the last video that I posted but I'm sure the um, the one that do really well and you guys seem to really like it is the one that I show a lot of my coloring pages so I thought I'm gonna do another one um, I probably will show some of the pages that I already show in the the older video so if I but I'm trying to uh, show the new one so if I do show those older one uh, I apologize in advance and I hope this video will give you some inspiration for your own coloring so with that said let's get into the video first up let's start with John Hannibal's first book and I have here with me a collection of her book uh, but I wanted to show you from like some of the oldest one to the newer one I have here with me is the ivy and the inky butterfly of course you guys know this one um, it's a I have a really old version and the seam seem to light here it hasn't give up on me yet so that's good uh, I'm not sure if the newer one is hold up better for this one I done this page so this page is I guess it's like a treasure room sort of page for this one I did with polychromo pencil and intense space to give it like a cooler mysterious atmosphere and when you have that base on you go on top with polychromo it usually give off a more harmonious feel to it oh actually this is not intense I think this is watercolor yeah I, I'm pretty sure this is watercolor Windsor and Newton have pen but the principle that I was talking about earlier was the same apply uh, now you guys obviously seen this one on my channel I think I posted a speed coloring video for this one you can find uh, both pages on my patreon so I, I think this one was taken a really long time to colors in because there's a lot of little details on here you can tell that this one I did before this page and my coloring style has changed slightly um, if I'm going to do this now I probably will change it a little bit this one I think I did with Prismacolor pencil was it Prismacolor or Polychromo as well I think it's maybe Polychromo for this one as well I don't usually use Prismacolor for John Hannah's book because I feel like the polychromo goes on better with this paper now, this one with poly polychromo as well I believe and to cover the line back in the day I used Windsor and Newton gouache the white one so you can try that out that's really nice as well but now today I often use the American Americana Americano yeah Americana deco art acrylic pen so I use that one to cover out the line so what I did I just cover the entire page um, pretty much because oh no actually I think maybe I only cover 
the no, I actually don't even remember what I did with this one. I think for this one, I probably did cover the entire page. Consider the how the texture is, because I'm too lazy to like just do little detail. So you can just cover the whole thing. Uh, I think I showed that one before. That's a magpie, but I think I also showed this one a while ago. I think that is it for this book. Next on the list, we have Enchanted Forest. Now, this is one of John Hannah's oldest book, uh, next to Secret Garden. I only did two pages in here since I got this book. So I got the fish pond one. I really like this one. I done this with polychromo pencil once again. And then for this one right here, this one with polychromo pencil and watercolor, I did do the background entirely with watercolor. So you can see it's like a galaxy. Not really galaxy, but like a starry night. I just kind of experimenting with new colors. So both of these pages you can find on my Patreon as well. Has a lot of fun with this one. And I use a lot of paint on this. But you can see, Johanna paper is really nice. It doesn't leak through. It does buckle a little bit, but that is expected uh, with these coloring book paper they are not designed for water as long as you don't do too much water you should be fine next on the list is lost ocean if you follow me for a really long time you would know this is one of my favorite books and i have this book for the longest term this is also my first ever book that I had when I started my coloring journey you can see some of these really really old and for this one let me show you guys mm -hmm. so I did you can tell that I did a fair amount in this book uh, when I first started and the reason one that I did is this double page so I think the last time I show you I only did this side I really like this one super fun page to do this one is with intense and polychromo pencil there's a lot of little technique going on here I think I also use um, Stadler fireliner as well and a bunch of acrylic pen like postcards and things like that uh, of course a lot of shell pens and then this well last year I did this one which is the the other side of the page and I did the sunken ship really love the way it turns out I give it a bit of mossy texture and the color palette just make me so happy I love using blue and green in my coloring yeah but that's about it I haven't done anything else in lost ocean next one is a world of wonder and for this one this one is one of her new book i believe so i did this page i'm not sure if i show in the other video uh, but i did the sky or oh, cloud kingdom that's what i call it now this one is with acrylic paint a bit tricky to do i had tons of fun with this one the background was done completely with acrylic everything you see in the background is with acrylic for the rest of these i think i use polychromo pencil and a bit of the stedler fireliner pencil a lot of gel pen i'm pretty sure there's another one in here i try to find it um is this one i don't know some of them are yeah okay so this one is more of a different color palette that I do. As you can see, I don't usually do these types of color palette. I usually stick with blue or green. Uh, but this one, I wanted to give it a really warm and cozy look. Uh, just like you camping in under the sky in the autumn, in the summer. So I did a warm tone brow with a bit of yellow and red quite love how this one turns out to be honest I think for this one I might have used Prismacolor 
can't remember exactly what I did with this one. I'm pretty sure the background for this one, I used the soft pastel, but it's the pan pastel brand. So the one in the little round pan that you can get, those are a bit more high quality soft pastel. So the colors of it is really nice and rich. And what else? Also, okay, I did this page a while back. I only did the truck. And then I was like, oh, that's a little bit empty. So I go back and I add my own background in. So it was all hand drawn. And I use the ink pen to line all of them. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go back and color them. But I have completely forgot about it. So I haven't colored it in yet. But the truck itself, I did with the polychromy pencil once again. So that is all for Worlds of Wonder. Um, next up we have Worlds of Flowers. I don't think I did heaps of pages in here. Beside from this one, I did show the background. And um, no, I think this one I did with my friend as coloring buddy, buddy coloring. This one is uh, one of the new one that I did. So the the fish pond uh, and I believe the fish was something else or maybe what was it what was supposed to be the fish I can't remember but I did turn it into a goldfish instead sometimes I want to do koi fish sometimes I want to do goldfish so this one is just goldfish I did the background entirely with just polychromo pencil so a lot of blending a lot of colors <laughs> takes quite a while to finish this one too because there's a lot of blending on this but it's very simple otherwise and you can see tons of gel pens just sparkle everywhere because when in doubt I just use a lot of gel pen and then I'm not sure if I showed this one but this one I did for Halloween and for the background I did I did use uh, acrylic pen uh, no acrylic paint not the pen for the black and then I think I use either color pencil or soft pastel to bring out some of the glow uh, of course there's a lot of gel pens on here but I thought I did I remember I did this one for Halloween because the page was big from Johanna Bassett. If you know Johanna Bassett, she doesn't do a lot of scary pages. So I was like, oh, I don't want to do like scary colors for this one either. So I thought I'd do a bit of my like witchy colors. I think it turns out really well. I really like the way this look. It's give like a neon color feel to it. Even though I don't think I use any. Oh, the, I did use a neon color from the Brisma color so most of it is polychromo but then I use a neon from the Brisma color it's give the pink one the neon pink one it's give a really lovely glow and then of course we have Rooms of Wonder one of my favorite book along with Lost Ocean from John Hannah Basford there's something about John Hannah Basford when she do detail page I just really love it uh, for this one, I did this page here. I think if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know about this one. I has so much fun colors in this lovely book. Uh, when I posted this one on my Instagram, back then I have a lot of sun catcher around my area where I colors. So when I take this for uh, take a photo of this, the sun catcher has some rainbows on it, and I think people really liked it. I'll show you another page where I actually do the sun catcher with color pencil. But this one, in reality, there's no rainbows on it. But it still took me a fair bit of time to colors in. I'm pretty sure I used polychromo for this one. There's a bit of blending for the background as well uh, with how the highlights and things like that is coming out. I actually really love the way this patient sounds as you can see it's a bit as uh, 
I get to my newer coloring. So this one is the newer one, the one that I've been showing you might be from one or two years ago even. But this one was just from last year, very recently. And you can see I kind of leaned toward a bit more of like a natural color palette. It's still fun. There's a lot of little things to do. Take me so much time, almost like more than 20 hours to do. So there's another one right here. I think I did this one with Prismacolor. These three here, you can see it's kind of fuzzy. All these ones only have the leaves on them. So I want to give it more like a bushy look. I use acrylic paint for this one. Look, I kind of feel like it's still empty. So i thinking about adding something for the background. And I lastly, from Johanna Basford's collection, Johanna's Christmas. So a couple of years ago, I think it was like two two years, two years ago, I did this side of the page. Really love how it turns out. So I decided last year, so it just last Christmas, I did the other side, complete both side together. Uh, for the background, I used the pan pastel, like I mentioned earlier, and of course, it just polygram my pencil, nothing too fancy. But I really like the way the color look. I don't use red enough in my coloring. It just gives a so cozy Christmas vibe. There's another one that I did. I think it was from the year before. Let me try to find. It was a polar bear page. But I want to show you the original first before I show you the updated version. So this is what I did ages ago, maybe like four years ago, probably more than four years. No, I think it's about four years. I'm not so sure anymore. Uh, this one, the background, you can see, oh, this one I didn't use pan pastel. Back then I didn't know, I haven't known about it. So this one was it with the normal soft pastel, the cheap quality um, student one and you can see the color still stands out now but it's had because it's have a lot of filler where at the pan pastel of this page I use have a lot more pigment in it uh, you can see the colors is almost just like normal color pencil where this one is a bit more fuzzy look to it so it depends on what you like they both work well and I I look at it I'm like mm, I kind of want to do a new version of this one and since um, the the page itself is only the bear and all of these this one I add the moon in so there wasn't any moon in here <laughs> so I thought oh I want to do not can lie so I thought I did this one and I changed the color palette completely so for this one I do blue and red and purple is like the main color and I quite like the way this one turns out to the the polar bear I did is sort of like have a bit more fur and I like just casting the color from the northern light down so the northern one and even the black background is with acrylic but everything else I believe I did use Either polychromo, yeah, I think it's polychromo. I really like the way that turns out too. So now there is two versions. It's always fun to try to do a different version after a while, see how much skill or how much your style has changed. That is all of Johanna Basford. So let's move on to the next artist. Now let's move on to Kirby Rosen. He has a lot of coloring books out there, but the one that seemed to stick out to me a lot is Fragile World and Worlds Within Worlds. So for this one, I did this lovely little um, snow globe and it's like a Asian style and then I did instead of just a normal color snow globe where you just use gray uh, to make it look clear I use colors to go around so it look like a bubble really like this one I think I did with polychromo pencil for this one I, I think it's really simple page super fun to do the background I just did with 
no more soft pastel pencil I just really like the softness of this make everything looks so pure and elegant so yeah you don't always need to have fancy art supply to make something look nice so I'm not sure how what's happening here oh uh, okay so I did this side I think I showed you this one before already or just one side of it and then I'm planning to do the other side but since like a lot of it is repeated I was just going to like show little bits of it there's this one there's flamingos uh, flamingos are done with Prismacolor so in here I use Prismacolors a little bit more I think it was Prismacolors um, what was the, the here? I think it's Albertura like watercolor pencil quite simple because the detail is already there for you he shaded a lot of the area so you don't really need to go all out with it but that's a different story for this book so there's a recent page that I did in this one that I definitely go all out but I'll show you in a bit so there's this pair out here I can't exactly remember what the name for this one you probably can look up a thick bill parasol is what this one I believe it's great that he have the name in the back because you can actually look up the animal I really enjoy making them look like semi-realistic and as close to their actual colors in real life as possible while keeping the background look somewhat illustrative and artsy this one page that I did here I don't think I oh yeah this one I did this little hamster one was it a hamster? I can't remember what this one is I think it's called European Hamster so adorable my favorite little page from this look at his little face so cute and I think for this one I did with Prismacolor again I have a specific pencil that I like to use for certain book because I just feel like some of them go on top better than the other and this one is just with Prismacolor pencil. I love the way this page turns out. And this is intentionally, but for some reason, the pink from the background bleed through the white gel pen that I was using. So now it just have that kind of blotchy watercolory effect. But I didn't blend that. It just happened. Let's move to this page right here where I absolutely go all out with this one as you can see I did use watercolor uh, actual watercolor Windows, Windsor and Newton one not the pencil then I use the uh, Prismacolor for the rest of the page and I add a lot of lily pad if you look at the original page there wasn't there was some lily pad but there wasn't that much on here uh, I add more lily pad more lotus flower or lily flowers and I did add of few more fishes on here as well so I had really good time with this one so I did a gradient and you can see it's sort of like a green lighter green here and then as it's go down here it's like darker green so that's what I did next up on the list I have Twilight Garden or I think it's called Bloomster Mandela by Maria Tro. She is one of my favorite favorite artists for coloring book. Her pages is just so lovely. There's something about it so pure and they just like children's storybook style if that makes sense. Let me have a look through this one. I don't think I did a tons in this book but the most recent page that I did in this one is this lovely page right here. Just a little mum mouse. Wild mouse <laughs> uh, with her little babies and I really love this one. I think I did this with polychromo pencil the background is just with polychromo pencil I did not use 
anything for the base as all and if you someone that use mixed medium you know how long it takes to do bokeh background with just pencil so half, half of the time I always have some sort of base color going on in the background just to like kind of take the white papers away but this one I thought well I haven't done the bokeh with just pencil so I'm like mm, I think I will try for this one and I actually really love the way it turns out it has tons of work now I'm looking at it I'm like I don't know how I did that this one is Botanicum again by Maria as well I, don't, um, I did this one but I'm not even sure if I show you this one there's a bit of gold pen going on there really lovely I don't use gold pen enough but I need two more and then there's this lovely little page just little girl and her little cat looking at the water oh I think she was playing the boat but yeah I think this one was with Prismacolor for Maria Troy book I do like to use between Polychroma and Prismacolor pencil I don't use a lot of other color pencil brand because I just don't have the fun to buy more pencil at the moment <laughs> But I would really want to try out the Caran Dash and the whole buy pencil. Those are really expensive though in Australia anyway. So this one with the grass, I did actually use a bit of gouache for this one. Super fun. Um, and I think I tried to mimic the cheaply style grass painting, the Ghibli Studio. So, well, this one is actually weird. Was it with polychromate? No, it looked like Prismacolor. I think Prismacolor, I did this one. Yeah. Or maybe it was between the two. No, I think it was just Prismacolor. And I don't think I really cover anything for this one. This one just pure pencil. This one right here. I think I did show this one in the past though. Just an autumn page. Again, um, I don't use enough of these colors, but when I do, it does look really nice on here. I just had some sort of fear with red and orange for some reason. But yeah, I have a lot of fun time with this one. Really like it. The last one is Luna. Another book of Maria that I really love. So cute. This little page right here. Just a fun little page. A lot of um, gold going on. Actually, I don't remember what the original for this one. I think it was some sort of fish. Yeah, I think it was just two little fish and then I was like, mm, I think I colors enough fishy So I turned it into axolotl <laughs> I don't know if I did a good job, but actually I really like the color combo for this one pink blue and green The lotus flower instead of just go with a normal pink Lotus flower I did quite unusual Color combos as well. That's kind of matches with the background and I think that turns out quite nice very lovely to look at but yeah it's quite small so I think when it's more picture like this you don't feel too scared to try our new color I think the next one is this one right here the tree house this one I did with polychroma this is a bit of either intense or watercolor in the background because I doing the techniques of the sun. So it's need to have a water-based background going on first. But again, just a fun little page to do. All of these you can find on my Patreon by the way. This one you can't. <laughs> this one I just did it in my own time to the last page that I did so this one again quite different color palette it's just a lot of muted blue and a bit of green I did the little forest spirit that you can find from Shibli studio the Mononoke princess <laughs> just so cute but yeah that is all in Luna for Hannah Calzon book, I only have two books to show you guys today. So let's start with the daydream. This is a page that I did. This one, this side I did watercolors, soft pastel for like the falling star sky. 
and Christmas color. I use a lot of white paint or acrylic for the water wave here. So much going on because it's all quite a simple page. So I think it look nice the way it is that I do the top and the bottom is like blue and then the mouse is the little mouse is in the kettle like yellow so it kind of pops out from the page and then this one is with polychromo pencil only was it yeah i think so i just really like the way this little page look and you can see i do a bit of the bokeh background the bottom just give that gloomy, rainy feel to it. There's a bit of highlight around the frog, so it looks like the water splashing. I absolutely love this page. I had so much fun with this one. Quite a simple page to do. Oh, I think I did use either Intense or watercolor for the background, just for like the base before I adding in the pencil. And I do it in the way, so it looks like there's a lot of rainfall. But you can see the actual rain texture, I only use the white gel pen. So it's a good technique to use for raining background. And then there's this owls, <laughs> these magical mushroom owls. I believe I did this one with Prisma color. There is intense for the background, I believe. I had so much fun transform the owl from like looking the face like this to like this and then this one as well so this one is king rabbit i did two versions of the rabbit one with the gray and one with the brown i don't think i have the other version in here unfortunately like i don't have the actual piece of paper that i show uh, but i did two as a tutorial i did do that and the rest of it, I think. What did I use for this one? Either I think maybe I did use polychromo for this, for this one specifically. But yeah, again, very simple page to do. Love how this one turns out. Sometimes I don't want to do like the whole lot of you know dazzle dazzle page i just want to do something simple and nice and i just straight up about uh, color pencil blending and make it nice and calm but yeah that is all i have in this book i'm gonna throw in show you guys again the fox face that i did <laughs> still my favorite that i did in this I think I might have to fix up the background a little bit because I wanted to maybe a bit darker so it bring the fox to the front more. So for the Forest Kingdom, uh, this one tells from the Forest Kingdom and I think I'm not sure if this is one of her latest release. I don't believe so. It probably like one or two before her latest release. Now she released in these thinner types of book. You can see it's quite thin compared to back then and it's the size are different too. I actually quite like the size of it but the less pages I'm not so fond of it because the prices stay the same. So yeah. Uh, still one of my favorite though. I love coloring in mushroom and forest themes and fairies and things like that. So this one I did recently with polychromo pencil. And then the grass is it gouache. This one, the, the grass bit it with gouache. And everything else is just with polychromo pencil. So much fun. I love how this one turns out. I think I would do the other size as well. Because um yeah it, it does look like a double page so can't wait to to finish this side too i think it would look really nice once it's done i think i did this page here now this page the background is with acrylic once again but i also do like that you can see my blending now with this page. this one is a new one compared to a lot of the other one that i just showed you you can see there is 
very slight buckle but it still stay really flat there is no need to worry if you use a different mediums on this paper this paper can handle a lot of abuse in my experience i use a uh, polygrammy pencil i did use the white acrylic to cover the line art and then acrylic again for uh, the background and then there's this one as well i did the uh, unicorn so probably would do the other side most of these pages i just realized that i did like double pages again this one is with prismacolor i really like the way it turns out though especially the little mushroom and i think i did a pretty good job with the unicorn because uh, again i don't do a lot of horses and when i look at them i'm like they're so muscly it's so hard for me to capture all their muscles and you know the way their legs and this fur they're not actually hairy so it's a little bit tricky especially if you want to make them look like they're magical but i think the color turns out quite well so i do really like that next up is romantic country by eri this is uh, a japanese coloring book but this one is an uh, english version and i got this these two books a long long time ago i think this one probably that the first edition of the english version i'm not sure if it's the paper is better now with the lighter version unfortunately the paper in this book is not the best so i do use a lot of ink pens or watercolor together um, for the pencil to lay on top nicer uh, so i have two to show you today i do have the third story as well so this one is a series called romantic country so there's this one is one two and then there's another one but i haven't colored anything in the third one and i have a ton of every other books as well that i have not touched but yeah so this one i did this page right here and it's just a little alley where it's a little ducky isn't it <laughs> As you can see here i did a lot of these glowing little glowing sunlight because i was inspired by my sun catcher and i just really love the way it look on here prisma color for this one i think for every book i mainly use prisma color pencil generally i prefer prisma colors on in her book because the paper is really smooth so there's not a lot of tool to uh, to grab on unfortunately this bakery oh i think it's a bread market or is that just market in general i love coloring in food and with this page i have so much fun just to like combining all the brow different brow together to create like the bread because mostly bread and pastry they just brow right so it was so fun i did the sourdough and then i did a bunch of croissants and baguette and all these little duckies in here and i just did you can see here there's like the bread duck and then there's a real ducky i think he's a main character along with the girls in here i didn't really read the law of it so i'm not sure what the actual name for the duck is but yeah with prisma color so much fun for this one um i also use ink pens just to layer down the base colors again i wouldn't use watercolor watercolors on here not a lot anyway because the paper can't really handle a lot of wet medium either and the garden the tea room all rose in here so cute i love these scenes so peaceful i would love to sit here did a little rainbow because why not just make me happy that day i remember when i colored this i was really happy so i was like i do a little rainbow next one we have the romantic country second tale so this one i did recently like the last halloween for this one i actually used prismacolor but i i think i didn't really use a lot of 
the base anymore. I'm not sure why some of the paper from the first one seem like really hard to get the colors down. It might be because now that I'm used to use the Prisma color that I can control and how I know how much uh, pressure I need to apply down in order for it to actually stick to the paper and I can like do more layers on top. Look at the window, the little stained glass window and all these glowing bit and all the shadow and I did this one. This one is more like a chill paste. It's Manon's, Manon's flower. I think like these girls decorating houses with flowers. Prismacolor once again. And this last one, this one I'm pretty sure there's intense going on in this page. And of course, Prismacolor did a bit of um, galaxy style here. I think that I haven't done a galaxy one in ages. I'm not sure if I do it now, I would do any different because I, I still really like the way these colors look together. You can see most of the time I do purple, blue or purple teal blue very common uh, galaxy style colors and it actually has a bit of and there you go a bit of uh, metallic gold paint on top as well next one we have Manuet de Bonheur by Kanoko Agusa another Japanese author for coloring book that really popular uh, I haven't done a lot in her coloring book again really nice illustrations the paper not really good I think that's probably why I kind of like steer me away from like picking up the book because I know that I would have a bit more trouble with the paper but anyway for this one I did this dessert page here I had so much fun with this one by the way I think I did with Prismacolor pencil uh, and for the the bowl, I wanted to do like a China style bowl, you know, Ch China's wear. And the background is just symbol a bit of a soft puzzle. I probably will change it though if I do it again. I will probably like do it slightly different. Finally, this one is the recent, recent one that I did. So this one is with prisma color once again but now that i have figured out the way to color in this bowl i think i did a much better job and i think i did had a lot more fun coloring in this page so we'll definitely revisit this book again and all of our kanoko book in the future but yeah it's just a poppy page i couldn't figure out which bird that I wanted to do so I just like did three birds <laughs> three different types of birds next I have the fairy tales by Emily and if you have a note uh, she has re-released her second or second book the one in the hard cover that was out of print years ago so that book has changed I believe into fairy tales and some things along the line is available on Amazon now uh, for pre-order but it's so expensive in Australia I have a look and it was like $44 I'm not so sure if I'm going to get it because I have her original one but her new one have newer drawing in it so I think I will probably get it in the future but hopefully she will continue to put out more coloring book for us because I really love her style um, has, she has a very unique style also kind of say I wouldn't say it's very very similar to Maria but her style it had that children's storybook style very whimsical very fairy like so this one is quite recent I did again another page with like that brownish colors a lot of warm cozy vibe to it really like the way this one turns out too I just really like her her illustration it's just something about it um, give me that you know 
memory of childhood and I I'm so in love with her book so I'm so happy I'm really happy that the the book publisher picking up her work again so that is it with all the big one now we can move on to like the smaller size and just uh, bits and pieces that I colors in throughout the years this one is Millie Marotta Woodland Wild and this one is a pocket version so very very small size I don't really color in a lot of Millie's uh, work but I do really like her types of drawing there's a lot of animals in it I think the only thing that kind of um, make me a bit worry when I colors in her one is because there's a she use a lot of pattern my brain get a bit overwhelmed looking at all the lines so in this one I actually did this little chipmunk or squirrel one with polychromic pencil the background is simply just soft pastel and I did it in a way so you can't really see the line so I just kind of treat it as nothing on it and I think her book especially the one with animal I think a lot of them has animals in it anyway is really good to practicing semi-realistic colors for animals so I do really like it I probably will come back to color in some more from this book but yeah that that um, I only did one page so far in this one unfortunately and recently I picked up um, Rita Berman this one is traveling through Europe I have traveling through Asia and then back then I have uh, looking through the the looking glass or something like that but with like under the water theme I have not yet colors in any of her other book only this one I did fair bit in this one though um, I do really like Rita Berman book her season one back then she have a season series so like autumns and springs and things like that I don't really care too much for for those one so I don't really picking up her book until this series and I do really like this series I think there's a lot more thing to color than just flowers because I think if I want to do flower there is other artists that have the style that I would uh, resonate with and like to color in better but Rita has a very specific style it's almost like a folk tale storytelling really nice really quirky again similar with Millie she's also including some pattern but I think for this one for this series specifically I think she's toned it down a little bit and that helped me to um, get into her book so for this one let's have a look so this is the first page that I ever do in her book I just want something to do really fun uh, I don't use a lot of purple or orange again so I did one page that's really colorful I think that's fit her style I would try to like figure out what style I would do for her pages if that makes sense and so this one I I did a really fun one with a lot of colors the next one I did is this London underground page where you can see it's like a stormy not stormy but like rainy day very gloomy vibe similar to the frog page that I did in daydream by Hannah Carlson I did this one with polygrammer this one I did was with Prismacolor so very bright vibrant this one with polygrammer changed the mood completely and I did a wash over the the page to help it um, bring all the colors together as it's have the same base so there's a blue wash underneath too but yeah I really like how this one turns out I think the camera doesn't really pick up all the colors because it's quite dark but I even did like little glowing 
bit for the CD here. Really like this double page, so unique. And then I did this little trimmy cottage one. And I started to figure out what style I sort of wanted to do for her book now. I think this one I did with Prismacolor. For read her book, it's, the paper is lovely. Um, but it's also not that kind of thick paper. So I have to be really careful with how much layer I add down. I'm more of like a polygramal girl. So I do use a, quite a bit of layering. I do a lot of light layers in lots of lots of layers in my coloring so when i do these types of book i have to keep that in mind and if you do prismacolor you wouldn't have any problem at all because prismacolor is very buttery and rich in color you can uh, get a good amount of colors out in one wash but yeah that's the one and then uh is there any more okay no this is a recent one. Oh no no I this, this one so this one I did with polygramo and then I started to figure out ah, oh, yeah this is what I wanted to do uh, whenever I color in her book so I go back to my usual style this one is a bit more colorful which I really like the glare was colorful and I really like how all the colors match well together love this page one of the fun most fun pages i had in a while when i color in this book so i thought okay i'm gonna keep doing that and then the recent one oh no this this is not the recent one was that maybe this was the no this was not the recent one i think the one before that i did this page here the one with the uh, patisserie <laughs> um, bakery page this one I do with polychromo as well I figure out that I really like polychromo in this book and so the cat was just a normal looking cat but I turned it into Kiki's uh, oh, not Kiki Chichi Chichi from Kiki this uh, delivery service from Studio Chipley I really like Studio Chipley so you probably will see me sprinkle like little bits and pieces of the character in some of the page as I color. Love how this one turns out. I think I'm starting to find myself again in Rita style. And now I just absolutely adore her book. So this one is a recent one that we did. I think this one was with Polychromo. I had a lot of fun figuring out the little icon why she do these pages because it's I think they have some sort of like backstory to them but yeah that is all Rita book so and these are the few pages this is from one of the small artists that I really like her coloring she is uh, one of my friends and we like she sent me a couple of pages to ask if I wanted to color in and try out her coloring pages and I said yes please send me over and I um, when I have time I would look I, I would color in them and she has the cute her style is like a miss um, match between John Hannah Basfors and Maria Troll I would say and also a little bit of Aries in there so it's like Japanese style I don't know how to explain it. It's just really cute. Her coloring, her drawing is so dainty and everything's so small so she's do in tiny. And if you are someone like to test out color palette, have fun with different palette that you don't want to actually like use in your books, your coloring books because you know sometimes for people to just buy a new coloring book. So this would be a perfect so i just go on pinterest and look up color palette or color tea you can see these flowers they usually like not that types of colors but i wanted to test it out with my polychromo most of the i use poly i add it in a circle because i wanted some background and i did this one like a teal and then the muted pink flowers and the bird of course it had to be like the blue birds because I always do blue birds in my <laughs> coloring um, and this one is like a 
housing pot or oh, no this one I did a while back then this one actually doesn't really have a color palette I just wanted to test out a pink color house see if I can do it nice uh, with a pink house that doesn't look like completely pink and it's just a thin of a pink I think I did quite all right um, and I just had having fun with this I did like this pencil paws that have water inside doesn't really make sense when I color these myself I don't usually think too much and I just look at things around me and um, try to capture them and this one I did recently you probably see the little short clip I posted this one so if you haven't known I used to have a dead hand like not even dead thumb I just dead hand <laughs> so I used to kill a lot of my uh, the plants or the things that I wanted to grow so I never really have grow anything uh, during the past year um, I have into a lot of plants and I started to growing them a lot so now when I look at leaves I wanted to mimic the plants that I have at home so that's what I pick with this one and I really love the way it turns out I love the color palette for this one I probably will use this one in the future when I colors in other pages so that's what I did um this one I printed on the paper this is quite nice paper it's come in a pack and then you can just tear it off tear it out and then print it it's really nice and thick paper lovely lovely tooth so not too hard tooth not a lot of tooth but like not too little perfect poke for color pencil another thing with this drawing is she usually um, included and gray light art so this one you can see it's a lot more lighter than this version which is dark just for the people that doesn't like to have the light art show too much so I think that's really thoughtful of her her name is Agota Agota illustration so you can find her on Instagram at Agota pop and then Agota illustration on so that is it with uh, this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you uh, able to find all of the coloring pages that I show you today um, as good inspiration for your own coloring and if you like any of the pages and would like to learn to color along with me and learn my technique then uh, please head to my patreon I will put the link in the description below your support there would be really appreciated and yeah i'm very sorry if i talk too much in this video or this video too long i apologize um i would love to post more videos on here and eventually i would love to post uh some shorter video on here like as color along uh, and I will see you guys soon in the future but yeah that is it for this one I hope you guys staying safe and happy coloring bye